Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. My name's Nick Park, and I'm taking us through a series of teachings called the Biblical Game of Thrones. Uh, we're looking at how there was all this plotting and conniving and very real human tragedies and, and, and uh, ambition going on, uh, just like the TV series, except God was at work in the background of it all. And you had two kingdoms. You had the northern kingdom, the ten tribes that had broken away from Jerusalem. And then in the southern kingdom in Jerusalem, you had uh, the tribe of Judah. And uh, that was, of course, David was the tribe of Judah. You also had Benjamin, which had been the tribe that King Saul had come from. And you had the Levites who served in the temple as the priests and Levites. And so um, in the southern kingdom, while the northern kingdom really had reached a stage of such uh, debasement that God had lifted his hand of blessing, blessing right off it. In the southern kingdom, there were still bad times. There were still some bad kings, but there were also some great kings. We're going to look at one of the good kings today. We talked before about Uzziah. Uzziah was the leper king. Uh, he was the king who ruled well and was a good king, but then he got a bit above himself. He wanted to be the religious leader as well. He went into the temple. He tried to burn incense on the altar, got in a row with the priests and was struck with leprosy and therefore had to remain secluded in a special palace and could not fulfill the duties of kingship. And so his son, Jotham, uh, he had to fulfill those roles. Now, Jotham reigned, was, was uh, 25 years old whenever he assumed the kingship, and he reigned for 16 years. Now, we don't know how many of them was on his own after his father's death and how many were while his father was still alive, but in seclusion. But altogether, uh, Jotham reigned for uh, 16 years. Now, he was a good king. He, uh, and it, you know, he saw that the Lord is perfect and that he wanted to serve God in all his ways. And so he rebuilt the upper gate of the temple. He rebuilt Jerusalem, uh, some of the walls of Jerusalem that had been broken down. He built fortified cities in the hill country to make Israel uh, stronger militarily. He defeated the Ammonites in battle. And now he, the one thing, one negative point is that he did not manage to totally remove idolatry from the land. Well, when you think about it, because there had been some bad rulers that had brought idolatry in, you know, some of the people, no matter what the king would now do, would still cling on to it. But certainly Jotham did not promote or endorse idolatry in any shape or form. And uh, Second Chronicles chapter 27 says very clearly that he became powerful because he obeyed the Lord. Now, there is one thing that it says about Jotham that I think some people have misunderstood. It says, however, he did not enter the temple of the Lord like his father. And I've actually heard preachers preach about this and say, well, Jotham, that, you know, he, he never set foot in the temple. It's, it's not saying that. It's not saying that he neglected to go to the temple. I'm sure he did go to the temple. It's saying he did not go in as his father had. He did not go in with a high-handed attitude. He did not go in trying to pretend that he was above the priests. He recognized that he was the king. He was the civil leader of the land, but he was not the spiritual leader of the land. And so in that sense, we can say that Jotham learned from the mistakes of his father. And that's a, that's, you know, that's a wonderful skill to have, not to have to learn from our own mistakes, but to learn from the mistakes of others. And Jotham was smart enough to learn from his father's mistakes. You know, I believe that uh, we as Christians, it's vital that we learn not just from people's good examples, but from people's bad examples. I've actually heard atheists declare that the Bible is an immoral book because it contains reports of people doing terrible things. But those reports are not there uh, to say approve of them. They're there to say that we can do better. And I pray that we, like Jotham, will learn from the mistakes, even of good people that have gone before us, so we can do even better and follow the Lord fully with all of our hearts. May God help us to do that today. And join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.